Chapter 3. Pictures. The next morning, Mother called me for breakfast. Good morning, said Mother. Good morning, said Daddy. Good morning, I said. Roosters can peck your head to a nub. Daddy put down his coffee cup. Excuse me? I pointed at my head. A nub, I said. A nub is a teasy little knob head. Roosters can peck your head into one. Mother looked strange at me. What in the world is this about? I did a big breath at her. Because <sighs> how can I even be clearer on this subject? A nub, a nub, a roundish ballish head nub, knob. And do not tell me that roosters do not peck you. On account of we had pet day at school and that Weenie Jim brought a rooster to room nine and that boy is a rooster expert. I looked at her. Plus, also, you said Uncle Billy's rooster was mean, too. Right, Mother? Remember that? Mother looked frustrated at me. Then she put her head down on the table. And she didn't come up for a real long time. Finally, she peeked her eyes at Daddy. Now what? She said kind of quiet. Maybe it will blow over, said Daddy. I shook my head. No, it will not blow over, I told them. Because roosters do not listen to reason. And so there is nothing we can do about this pecking situation. Daddy rubbed his eyes. Could we please just change the subject, he said. Yeah, only not talking about a nub will not make you go away, I said. And so, that's enough, said Daddy very growly. I stopped talking then. But even after we changed the subject, nubs kept staying on my mind. That day at school, Mrs. told us to draw a picture at, about our trip to the farm. She said to make, a, make it a colorful picture of what we wanted to see here. I drawed and drawed, plus also I colored and colored. When all of us got done with our pictures, we sat at our chairs in a big circle, and we told each other about what we drew. My bestest friend named Lucille went first. She drawed a picture of a pink flamingo. Flamingos are my favorite animals, she said. That's because pink is my favorite color. And flamingos are pink. And I have a pink dress that will match them perfectly. So this is the dress I'll be wearing on the field trip. She wrinkled her nose real cute. Pink brings out the natural blush of my complexion, she told Mrs. Have you ever noticed my satiny smooth skin? Mrs. looked and looked at that girl. You're a fascinating child, Lucille, but I'm afraid there aren't any flamingos on a dairy farm, she said. Lucille looked surprised. So where are they then, she asked. Well, flamingos can be found at a lot of places, said Mrs. South America, for example. Mrs. Wait, Lucille shrugged her shoulders. So fine, we'll just go there instead. Mrs. said for Lucille to please sit down. Just then. Polly Allen Puffer sprang down to his chair. Look, teacher, I drew a catfish, she said. See his whiskers? My brother said catfish whiskers are so sharp they could slice your finger to the bone. Mrs. made a sick face. Yes, well, thank you for sharing that, Polly Allen. But we're not going fishing. We're going to a farm, remember? Polly Allen Puffer looked upset. Yes, but my brother said there's lots of catfish farms around here. So that's the kind of farmer I think we we should know, Polly. No, said Mrs. We're just going to a regular plain old farm with regular plain old farm animals. Polly Allen Puffer did a mad breath. <sighs> he said the word big whoop. After that, Polly Allen Puffer had to stand in the hall. Mrs. said did some deep breathing. <sighs> please, children, please. Did anyone in room nine draw a picture of a regular farm animal? Anyone at all? That's all I'm looking for here. Just a regular old farm animal. I did. I did, Mrs. I yelled real excited. I drew a picture of a rooster under a tree. Oh, Julie B, thank you. That's perfect, she said. I folded it up so she could see it. See it, Mrs.? See how pretty it is? Mrs. looked at my picture. Oh, yes. That's a very nice tree, Junie B, she said. But why is it lying on its side? It crashed over in a rainstorm, I said. Oh, said Mrs. Oh dear. She looked even closer. 
But I'm afraid I don't see the rooster, honey. I pointed. There, I said. See, the, see his foot under the branch? He did not get out in time, apparently. Mrs. covered her mouth with her hand. Just then, a girl named Charlotte hollered. I hate that picture. That's a terrible picture. I crossed my arms at that girl. You would not say that if your head was an up sister, I said. Eenie Jen laughed real loud. Then Mrs. said for all of us to take our chairs back to our tables. We did not show any more farm pictures.